Hello, sweet souls. Happy Saturday. It's August 17th. This is going to be your part two. Uh, we're just going to see what actions this person from your past will take. Uh, what's coming in for you. <clears throat> Let's just see what comes out. We're going to call in St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, do thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call in the Holy Spirit. Angel, saints, spirit, guides, and ancestors. And ask for a message for your greater good. All right, guys. Let's see. All right, what does the collective need to know? What actions is this past person going to attempt to take, if any? Yeah, there's that magician manifesting again. Let me see. I thought I might have had a flipper. Um, they're definitely trying to manifest you. Whether this is in their thoughts or they're going to someone, I don't know. But they're trying to manifest you. What actions is this past person taking toward the collective? If any at all. Yeah, this person is trying to manifest success. A victory. Six of Wands with you. The blockages, they're under judgment. They're experiencing heavy karma for their actions against you. So, it's never going to work. It's never going to work. Yeah, see, they want to communicate and give you a new offer. A page of Pentacles. A page offer for an Empress. Wow. Yeah. Let me try to destroy your life, lie, cheat, steal, destroy your reputation, try to destroy your work and everything else that was done, and then let me come and give you a page offer. No apology, just a little offer. My goodness, yeah. This person's feeling abandoned or rejected. They took no action to rectify anything they've done, Nine of Pentacles, and now they're feeling sad, Five of Cups. And we got that in the first reading. This person's uh, conscience is really tormenting them, which is actually your ancestors and the angels doing that, the saints. They're putting this person through the ringer. Yeah, eight of cups. This is someone you walked away from. Once God gave you the truth and clarity, you said, I'm out. I can't. This person's beyond help. I can't. I have to move on. I got to block this energy. There's there's nothing positive that will come from this person. They're too They're too wounded. Too wounded. Yeah. And this person is now, due to their conscience, they're drowning in emotion going through a tower. Things are falling apart. Now, this person is deep in their ego. So this is somebody that will hide it from the world as best they can. They're, they're too arrogant, too egotistical. Yeah. See, divine intervention is happening in this person's life. This person is being exposed, Ace of Swords, and this is the divine doing it. Remember when I told you in part one <clears throat> what an ego death looks like for someone that operates an ego, that hurts people from a place of ego? It's, it's horrible. It's like absolute public humiliation. At all of their dirty secrets, every dirty secret they have coming out. That's what it looks like, and that's what it feels like. All of their greed, all the decisions they made for greed. <coughs> Who they were willing to throw under the bus and destroy just for money. Yeah. The truth is also coming out about how loving you are, Ace of Cups. That you were this loving, kind person. And that this past person that operates from greed and ego that they created illusions around that love that you held they create created illusions yeah the the mental stress and anxiety this person put you through is also being revealed um and why it ended whatever this person whatever story this person spun that was a lie is now being revealed Definitely now being revealed. Yeah, what links Five of Swords they would take to win. This person's reputation is going to be non-existent. They're not, if they were held in high regard at one point, that's over. Yeah, they're going to be in heartbreak. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. They're going to be in heartbreak. Yeah, and you know what? I see you're moving on with someone that operates in honesty, loyalty, and integrity. That came out in the first reading. And then we can see a Knight of Wands here. A lower vibrational, 
ego-driven player energy. Why are they still here? Why are they still here? Nine of Wands, yeah, to the chariot. The blockages, you know, you are the wounded warrior, so you guard yourself. And you're not allowing this person back into your energy. With a chariot on the fence, this is a blockage. You don't want them coming near you. Yeah, you're this queen of pentacles, grounded, stable, financially secure. You're abundant and creative in your own energy. And you know, with the five of swords coming out again, all this person has done, you know, with the sun, you know. You're well aware. Devil just tried to come out. Yeah, the sun came out again. You're well aware of everything this person has done. And now with the Ace of Swords, the whole world is aware of what this person has done or will be in the future. You have healed. You know, you don't wish ill will for even this person. You pray for them. You just move on. Ace of Pentacles, you were gifted with a brand new a beginning, a new opportunity, a blessing um, that's going to elevate you for sure financially. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Multiple wishes are coming in. That's absolutely beautiful because you deserve it. You took the high road. You didn't seek vengeance. You didn't retaliate. You just stayed in your high vibration and you healed. And that's why you're being rewarded. Yeah, this person continued to stalk, spy, slander you, the high priestess. Someone that's spiritually gifted. And someone that's very protected by God. Yeah. You're moving on. You're just moving on. Yeah, see, this person still wants to come in and lie, cheat, and steal. Seven of Swords. But their blockage is God. God said, no, you don't. No, you won't. You better think again. You already got too much debt to pay. You better think again. So you're really protected. Um, you're too strong. You're just too strong. You're in your power. Yeah. And despite this person trying to block you from elevating financially and your independence, um, with the full, you're still taking a brand new leap of faith. You are. You're a star. You're a healer. You you have a destiny um, to fulfill in this life. Um, you went through their karmic debt. You're learning your lesson and you're releasing it without any pain. You're not carrying that pain forward with you. You got bit better things to do in your life. Better things to do, that's for sure. So, yeah, you're this queen of cups of energy. You're, you have self-love. You're listening to your intuition. You're setting boundaries and you're in your fate and destiny. Yep, you, you just, you're just moving on. All right, let's see, guys. Let's do the angel messages. Now, let's do the romance, romance oracle first. Get advice. Advice for the collective. All right. What advice do you have for the collective? What advice do you have for the collective regarding this situation? What advice do you have for the collective? Wow, that was a whole chunk. Can I just get one at a time? Just one. One at a time, please. Thank you. Yeah, see, the person you've separated yourself from is codependent. They have addictions. Um, and you're aware of this. Yeah, this person that's codependent, they, ha they may have romantic feelings for you, but... And passion. It's all about the passion for this person because they operate in the ego. You know, lust energy, 3D energy. Yeah, reconciliation came in reverse. You're not interested in reconciling with this person. You're just not. Yeah. You know, you're in this playful energy. Um, you want someone that's going to match that playful energy. You don't want somebody that's just maniacal. Um, you're forgiving and learning. Yeah, you're learning the lesson. You're releasing. Uh, and it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Because you can't be in that high vibration of love still holding on to anger about an injustice that was done. That belongs to God. Okay? Yeah, you're calling in new love. 
new love, somebody that's going to be playful and silly and happy and, but also strong and confident and protective when they need to be. Yeah, you're going to have a lot, a lot of chemistry with this new person. There's going to be a lot of attraction. They're going to feel like home to you. Yeah, they said it's time to free yourself from the past. Time to take back control of your life. This person's a walking red flag from your past because they haven't done any healing work. So how could they possibly change anything about their energy if they don't heal? Let your friends help you. Um, this can be, you know, the spiritual realm as well. If you need help with healing, call on the spiritual realm. You know, if you have a, a trustworthy friend group in the 3D realm, of course, you can ask them to, to help you too. But I feel more of the spiritual realm with this. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, retreat. It's time for you to disconnect from the world, but it came in reverse. So you're coming out of that hermit energy. You're putting yourself out there. Yeah, you're expressing your love now. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture, but love yourself first. Always put yourself first. Make the effort. You deserve love. You've been healing from family issues. Somebody has an issue with your spirituality or your religion. Um, they want you to continue to stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's do some letters and signs. Truth and only truth for the collective. Whoops. Truth and only truth for the collective. Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? Who is this reading about? All right. E on the bottom of the deck. JK, am I kidding? Z, our old faithful Z, Sag, Aries, Libra, T, G, C, S, Aquarius, Pisces, Y, Q, Scorpio, A, Capricorn, Leo, and P. Yeah, somebody has something to say. S-A-Y. Somebody has something to say, but I don't think you want to hear it. Yeah. Uh, somebody could be from California, Georgia, Yeah, somebody wants to talk about the past. They want to talk about the past, but you've already released the past. You don't, There's nothing else to say about the past. Yeah, so you'll pass on that. <laughs> you'll pass. No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, somebody's name could be Jack or Jackie. Jack. Somebody could have tapped someone's phone or computer. You'll know, you guys. I think your intuition is strong enough. You would know. Um, yeah, somebody wanted to test you. They wanted to test you, and this backfired. You don't play games with people. You got to double the T. They wanted to test you. I mean, this was mm, South Carolina. This is not smart. You know, with Q&A, I feel like somebody is trying to seek uh answers somebody's questioning this person yeah yeah somebody could be from kentucky uh somebody could have a jag
Again with the gay card. I don't know what this is about. Somebody, somebody is a secretly gay and goes into relationships with women, but really don't want to be with women. That, if that's the case, that's also coming out for sure. Yeah, somebody's going to see the truth. Uh, somebody could live by the sea. Somebody could pass away. I hope not. Uh, somebody just sat there and did nothing. Somebody was aware of the things that were going on and they sat there and did nothing to help and protect you, defend you. They're also going to be responsible. Um, Pennsylvania. Can I give you for Pennsylvania? Oh. Oh, sorry guys. All right, guys. You guys will probably get more. I'm tired. I didn't sleep good. Okay. That's always for me, though. All right. Let's see, guys. What advice do you have for the collective? Take a trip. It'll do you good. Your relationship with money needs to be healed. That hasn't come out in a while. That was coming out there for a while every day. Working with others is a part of your destiny. Keep a dream journal. You could be getting messages in your dreams. Don't let fear of the unknown stop you and let your light shine. There's someone in your energy you can't trust. That's for sure. All right. All right, let's see what else we can get. collective moving forward moving forward what does the collective need to do moving forward moving forward focus on love being in the vibration of love um, giving and rece receiving equal love stay in the vibration of love self-love um, yeah keep going yes you've been wounded keep going but stay in that vibration of love they want you to know a new opportunity is coming. A new offer is coming. It's going to restore peace and harmony. This is divine intervention, bringing a new offer in for you. It could be this king of swords that keeps coming out. Someone that operates in honor, honor and integrity. Someone that you can trust that will be, uh, you know, someone that's going to defend you, protect you, love you. It's a love offer. Or it could be an offer for um, career opportunity, something that you hold dear to your heart. Yeah, so this is one of many wishes coming in for you guys. That's beautiful. For the collective, moving forward. For the collective, moving forward. Wow, look at this. They could also be an earth sign. You are definitely receiving an offer from somebody that is not only honest and loyal, someone that will protect you and defend you, but this is someone that is going to match you, your energy perfectly. Someone that's very grounded and stable. This is definitely new love for some of you. And it's beautiful. For some of you, you've been waiting for this. You've been waiting. You've been committed and devoted. You've been in that slow and steady wins the race. Um, but it's your justice, justice for the high priestess, justice for the one that God has been protecting through this whole experience, someone that's very connected, someone that's very loved by the spiritual realm. It's good news. It's good news for you. I love it. Yep. Embracing a brand new beginning, starting over with someone that will view you as the empress that you are. 
it's your emperor. Wow. That is your emperor, your true divine partner that's coming in. Man, you guys, this is awesome. I love it. True divine love. Look at that. True divine love. Emperor, empress, two of cups. True divine love. Wow. Absolutely amazing, guys. Uh, I think we're going to leave it here um, since I did do a longer one on the first one. Uh, our last reading, we'll do advice with the oracle cards. We'll get, um, I have a, other oracle decks and we'll tap into those oracle decks. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading, I'm scheduling for next week. Uh, if you have issues with my scheduling app, you can send me a text or an email and we'll figure it out. Um, and if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links, the bio, TikTok, description of YouTube. I love you guys. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.